Was this always your plan to tell your life story or, or the things that you've been through before you went to before you got locked up? Yeah, I actually started writing the book in 2004. Okay. And um, you know, we was doing a lot of touring and we did the G on it deal and you know, it slowed the process of me writing down. But then um, you know, after the touring and everything, I started picking back up again around 2006. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you know, I caught the case, so I ended up finishing the book while I was in prison. P, man. Man the fuck up, man. Write some more rhymes, my nigga. Don't write no more books, my nigga. That shit is crazy, man. That shit is crazy, man. It's 17 years later, my dude. Now come find out you drop a book. You want to mention that. Yeah, everybody in the hood know what time it was. That's why I'm still here, because the nigga was home because of me. What is, what, you know, let me just be clear. That, that's, 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 my, that's my dude right there. You know what I'm saying? He, he tried to sell his book. He, so he's throwing a couple of jabs. That's hot. You know that, right? See that ball right there? That's what I got hit right there. And in the book, he said it was a uh, a nine, I mean, a check nine. See how some be wound? He said it was a check nine. He's lying about what I got hit with. It was a nine millimeter. But. Uh, one of the main reason why I wrote the book is because. You know, there's a lot of misconceptions and rumors go around with Mob Deep. And, uh, you know, a lot of false information. Yep. So I just wanted to get the real story out there so the people know what time it is. You, you not Mob Deep, we Mob Deep. We was your crutches, nigga. Cause it took a Queens nigga to get your jewelry back, your chains back. Every time somebody beat you up, drug you or do whatever they want to do, it was a Queens nigga that helped you. Which I'm not gonna say no names, because I'm not gonna bring niggas names up like you did. You know what I'm saying? That ain't real nigga shit, man. Real nigga shit. Real niggas don't get in books and tell sh shit that's from this grit right here, man. Superhead. I don't never line niggas up, man. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't got to do that. If I want something from a nigga, I go over and take it myself. You feel me? If I never, I talk about that shit in my music, like, you smell me? Like, if I never talked about that, like, like, what makes you think you could do that? Don't be talking about niggas' cases, murder cases, niggas that's dead, that can't defend themselves. Talk about your life, man. Talk about your life, man. Like, yeah. I wouldn't name a book my infamous life and talk about everybody else's life. Also, uh, you know, you can see how the struggles that I went through with my sickle cell anemia and um, how I learned how to live with that. And um, also, you know, the whole Mob Deep story, so you can see how that started and like the background to it, behind the scenes, things that people might not know about the music industry and um, how things really go behind the scenes. You gonna talk and save my infamous life? Talk about your life. Your sickle cell, your family, your family, your baby mom, your kids, your music. Don't talk about the homies' life, all of our life, shit that we've been through, and you and you sat back and analyzed it, and then you put it out there, like. But you know, go ahead, man. Do what you gotta do to sell your book, my nigga. But at what cost? That's what you gotta keep saying to yourself. It's at what cost, man? You know? Now you gotta move in parameters, nigga. Now you gotta move in parameters. You can't even come but around check with it, me. But check it. That's some sucker shit. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? I, I have no respect for none of that shit, man. And niggas is fool. Real talk. Niggas is fool. When they, I see niggas, I'm punching niggas' teeth out, man. I like them teeth. I'm gonna knock them shits right out, nigga. And that's on that's on that's on South Side. That's on Paul City, nigga. For real. I've been there, done that. Son can't come back. I had one of my youngest run them over with the Maybach. Put in so much information that, and I don't want to get too much up, but y'all gotta read it. You know, it gives you things that you would never even think of about certain people. You know, he gives you the real uh, uh, outlook on, you know, people's personal beliefs or morals. Not, in my, not me from here, nigga. He's not gonna come back around here. Not, not me from here, nigga. Around here. You're not from here, nigga. Not me. He's not from here.
Not me. You going at me? It's Queens, nigga. You from Long Island, Franklin Avenue, nigga. That's real nigga shit, Pete. First of all, we was dealing with you. That was back in the days, and, 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 and fuck that. Niggas forgot about nigga that. Talk about, nigga talk about Pete from let Come on, man. <laughs> niggas talk about they gonna rob you if you call him QVP. He ain't, ain't wearing all his diamonds is fake, man. He wearing most nice and shit like that. Yo, niggas listen, but listen, listen. A fake jewelry. Should he, Stop. should he put in the book? Give me that. Crazy. You don't gotta do that. You're deep, my nigga. Well, like, what my mom's got to do with mom D. Then you gonna put in the book, Godfather killed twin? Like, why would you do Why would you say that was a fucking accident, son? It was an accident, son. Rest in peace to the home in Scarface, man. It was an accident, man. I'm addressing what you said about me, my nigga. You know what you did, and they know who the fuck they are that beat your ass and shit like that, and who you went to to get that chain back or try to, you know, get this person to talk for you or speak up for you because you couldn't do it for yourself. You wasn't talking about nothing. You didn't come out with none of them Long Island niggas or whatever the case may be, my nigga. So that's what the real nigga shit come into play. And I don't know no real niggas that'll be somewhere where they just proclaim they from and a nigga punch them in their nose and break their fucking nose and take their chain, man. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And, 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 and they, clean nigga, they clean them up. They clean them up and, nigga and gotta, tell them get in the booth. Why, why a nigga got a ratchet on them. You feel what I'm saying? Then you go, so to say, with the niggas who's supposed to set you up. You go, a nigga give you your chain back and you go into a, a music session with these niggas. What kind, of, what kind of shit is that, man? Where they do that at? Like them down south niggas said. Where they do that at, man? I ain't never heard of no shit like that, man. And um, you know what I mean, I wanna just come holla at y'all about everything that's going on about the kids, man. You know what I mean, child nitty. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all heard about it in the book. You know what I'm saying? It's been a lot of accusations and people weighing in their opinions on that um that little incident me and Noriega had and all that, you know. But at the end of the day, I heard um Noriega talk about it on DJ Envy and um I heard Prodigy talk about it. And um, I feel something funny about the whole situation, like, you know what I'm saying? Because, number one, I'm the one that got shot, you heard? Like, Ty Nitty, so I took that fucking slug, man. Like, for a nigga to write a book about some real street shit that happened, I don't really understand that. Yeah, it was an incident with our, with our crew. With mm -hmm. Yeah, Nori had shot somebody. Yeah, Nori had shot somebody. Yeah, Nori had shot somebody. I don't know, but what's why is all that stuff going on though? What's you, going on? No, no. No, no he he shot, shot somebody. somebody. Yeah, no, he shot somebody. One time pressing me, one me the rat I'm a double L gangster, I don't get down like that Real recognized, real, that's why I roll with dad He got my back, I got his, that's my fucking comrade The incident, man, when I got shot, right? See, what P didn't, what Prodigy didn't put in the book is The incident that happened before me getting hit Well, actually, everything wasn't even over me and Nori Nori, I knew Nori for a long time Nori's a cool guy, I like Nori too You know what I'm saying? But you know, in the streets you gotta pick a size. You know what I'm saying? Any size you with, you gotta pick it. There ain't no in between, like girl. I happen to be with the mob, you know what I'm saying? Havoc is my dude. That was a havoc and pawn situation. That had nothing to do with child nigga at all. But I'm riding for my homie. Above everything, girl. First of all, you never punched me in my face. Made me cry. Look at you, look at me, nigga. If you punched me in my motherfucking face, I would have beat your ass no matter where it was in the crib, first of all. Second of all, if you could punch me in my motherfucking face, you could have punched Keith Murray and whoever the else punched you in your face in every borough back, nigga. You know what I'm saying? For the same blue. My man Saigon in here, you are. True life, you are. Yeah, yeah, fix your face. You're tired of this whack rap shit that's going on. All these fake studio gangsters, we tired of that shit. You know what I'm saying? All that, we, we tired of this shit. You know what I'm saying? That, that, all these black niggas shit. And we got that shit's bootleg. They bootleg. They ain't even real. We come by that for real. We come by that shit for real. That's 
shit is good. This shit is good, man. Yeah. This is how we this feel about niggas, it, man. <laughs> we burn nigga shit down, yeah. nigga. Young G, nigga. This what? This, this how we do out here, man. No niggas have real talk, nigga. The studio gangs, the hood winking shit is dead. You know what I'm saying? You just heard that. You just heard that right there from the y'all father, nigga. So you better take that real serious, nigga. We close in the game, damn man. It's getting small, man. All y'all niggas running around talking that crazy wild shit. I don't believe that, man. Like shit, like you talk about an uh, altercation happened with me and Nas in the studio. You know, we was drinking, fucking around. This shit was no big thing. Like, P, you want to put shit in your book? I don't know, man. Come on, P, you wasn't there when um when me and me and Son got into it. You wasn't there for the Esco shit, nigga. Once we was arguing, you walked out the room, scared to death, nigga. Eat money bags as you want depression, nigga. Man, niggas had you under pressure. The same chain niggas knocked you out and took from you at the tunnel is the same chain that you gave me. And I walk around the hood chest naked with the chain on, nigga. Come on, man. Big guns, nigga. Nigga, my bail was fucking 3,500. You couldn't bail me and bars out, nigga. In particular, he talks about how Capone from Capone and Noriega yeah. was the snitch in the neighborhood. Had his brother had, had, had murdered somebody, you know what I mean? Yeah. And through the lawyer, we had found out that there was a witness. Somebody was snitching, basically. Right. And, you know, we didn't know who it was. Like, during the trial, when we went to trial, um, we were all sitting in the courtroom waiting to see who the snitch is going to be. Right. And um, Capone walks out on the stand. You know wow. what I'm saying? And, and points out um, Hash Brooklyn. Wow. You know, I got caught in a situation. I gave a false statement. I mean, you get caught in situations, you get false statements, like you know about something, and you lie. I lied. Come to find out the motherfucking statement came back, they try to use me as a witness. But I lied. I, I didn't know nothing about the crime. I gave a fake statement. Hey, it happens. But I didn't put nothing in there to incriminate nobody. But at the end of the day, when it came time to go to trial, they try to use that shit. Like, like, like I gave a statement. But go ahead. It's a lie. I don't care. I wasn't around there. Okay. Right? But if that was the case, if that was the case, then why is it seven Mark Beat and Bone and Noriega records that exist? If a dude snitch on my man, I ain't hanging with him. Right. Word. Let alone, let alone get in the studio with him. So where's your integrity at, my brother? You snitch on my cat and, I, and I'm not hanging out with you. You feel me? <laughs> let alone doing a record with you, smoking with you, drinking with you, hitting things from the back with you. But I can't speak on it because I was in there. I only speak about the situations that I was there. P is my man. I understand he tried to sell a book, but the way the internet is wording it, they wording it like Nori got jumped, and they're not saying the consequences that happened afterwards. All right. My thing to you is this, Prodigy. This is a real situation, my nigga. Me and Nori really had something in the street for real. Everybody know that wasn't even me and Son. Yo, in the book, like, yo, do your people under the bus, be like, how you gonna 
How you gonna put that out there? Even though that happened, at the end of the day, we jumped some, I got hit. Lori like, yo, fuck it. I'd rather get jumped than get hit. And you know what, me too. I got hit literally, nigga. When, every time it rained, nigga, my leg feel like 300 pounds, nigga. Real talk, man. But that's what I gotta live with. I'm kind of over it, just like, if your mom's passed away and somebody talk about your mom, that's just like, she can't defend herself. Yes, 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 yes. You know what I mean? I gotta do it. If I was, my mom was alive, he would probably really be dead, you know what I mean? He, he, he wouldn't have did it if she was alive, basically. You know what I mean? Like 50 moms was in a movie. That's how my mom did you think you get, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do to get book sales, because your record sales is not doing that, man. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't getting no props for doing nothing to P because at the end of the day, he might not be from Queensbridge, but he rep Queensbridge. And us going at it, make niggas be like, yo, them Queensbridge niggas be bugging. And that's not me, man. You know what I'm saying? You wrote a book. Your infamous life? My infamous life, your prodigy, what the fuck? How you gonna write in that book when I got bucked? Who shot Ty? Nigga, I still don't know. Like, you know, everybody make mistakes and shit like that. He put on Twitter the other day, Mike DeLorean's like my little brother, he just frustrated. Yes! Our relationship ain't the same. P, you didn't say I'm not fucking with you no more. I stopped fucking with you, my nigga. Cause you didn't keep it a hundred, you know what I mean? Ron Ron invested in balls and hooks. Gave us a little hundred thousand, but you did some side shit with that money, you know what I'm saying? Prodigy just got out and, you know, he's making his rounds with the media and, and it came out that he had a few things to say and, and he actually claims that you and Irv were set up by Cadillac Talk. Do you have This guy, to... this guy in this book, you know, he's, he's real cute, you know, he's real funny, he's a little book, and he's talking about all of these situations. I'm sure he has nothing to do with that knows anything really about. But you know, it's, we call it the ghetto gazette. You know, the word travels through the streets, you hear this, you hear that. You know, Caddy, Caddy's one of my brothers, man. I'm, I'm not even thinking about what he's talking about. This book, Good luck to him with this book as well. My dude say in his little book, um, Gotti and um, Ja got robbed. That's one fact, that's not true. You can do your homework on that. Niggas ain't never been robbed. As long as I've been around, now whatever happened before then, I don't know nothing about. And, and the nigga started shit off, I think he said something about, um, the, the introduction was like, yo, his beef with Ja Rule or some shit. That just goes to show you how the nigga putting shit in there just to fucking get his book sold. The nigga ain't never had no problems with Rule. He ain't never had no problems with Rule, you feel me? But a nigga put in the beginning of the joint, the beef with, with Ja Rule. about things that happened in 1996. It is the year 2011. I definitely don't feel like talking about that. But you know the codes of the streets don't discuss no beef. You did three and a half, came home and did this. How you gonna shit on niggas with that dragon on their fist? Huh? My lawyer life coming soon, watch this. You don't know about my background growing up. Um, a lot of my family history. And, uh, you know, dealing with my health issues, the sickle cell and all that, and behind the scenes of the music industry, it's, it's just a lot of stuff for me that I think that is, um, would be interesting for people to learn. Just reading it in the book, mm -hmm. who were some of the people who held you down during your bed? Like, um, definitely, like, you know, Alchemist, you know, Havoc, uh, 50 Cent, um, Colt Mega, you know what I mean, uh, a lot of my, a lot of my close friends that, you know, that uh, you know, people wouldn't really know their names, but um, you know, I got a lot of close ties in there, and they, they kept a lot of money with me and made sure that they came up there for business and sent packages and all that good stuff and made sure I was straight. You know what I mean? Cool. The dead and the incarcerated, that's what you were saying. Yes, yes. Queens Bridge housing natives. Is that why the mural can't exist on the Queens Bridge property? Yes. Even if even 
the people who feel that Chen exist in Queensbridge got respect for the hip hop culture and the hip hop fans. We not, they not trying to disrespect the fans or be ignorant out there. It just can't exist in Queensbridge where people that he disrespected kids gotta see it every day. Okay.